Okay, hello and welcome to our first video lesson. Same or different? Ah, ah, ah. I can't do the whole thing in that voice. Uh, you could probably appreciate that. Uh, so, the video lesson, uh, some of the advantages here are you can pause it at any time. You can go back and play, uh, play it over again if you need to hear an explanation again. And, and hopefully that will help you out. Uh, you kind of go at your own pace. Okay, so uh, today what I'm going to do is uh, walk through what I hope are some of the findings you were able to get in class today looking at congruent triangles. Specifically, what are the minimum conditions, what are the, the fewest number of things we need to know to know for sure that two triangles are identical. Okay, so uh, let's see what we can do. Hold your applause to the end if you don't mind. So what I'm hoping that uh, you were able to see from uh, the work you did in class today was you were asked to make three conjectures and these would be called the laws or rules of congruence. So I'm confident you got them all right, so I'm kind of reiterating what you already saw. And the first one, which relates to task one, was that if all three sides are the same on two triangles, they have to be the same. So if we're using the correct terminology here, we're going to say if all three corresponding sides, and corresponding means matching, okay, the longest side on this triangle matches with the longest side on the other triangle. The shortest side matches with the shortest side, and so on. Uh, but the corresponding sides in two triangles are congruent, then the triangles must be congruent. And our short form for this, or our acronym, is SSS for side, side, side. Okay, so the picture of, of this uh, specific rule or law of congruence is here I have a triangle, where, or two triangles, I should say, where the corresponding longest sides are the same corresponding shortest sides are the same and the corresponding middle sides are the same. So by side 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 these two triangles are identical. And I can see that by overlaying them. Well, we should do a better job of overlaying them. Got it? Me neither. Okay, so these two triangles have to be identical because all three sides are the same. Hopefully you had some kind of wording of that and now you've seen it formalized a little bit. Okay. Uh, the second one, which would have been from task three, was looking at two sides and an angle. And so how we would describe this is if two pairs of corresponding sides and the contained angle, the one in between them, are congruent, two triangles have to be congruent. And here's the picture. Side, angle, side is the same on the other triangle. Side, angle, side. So these two triangles have to be the same by side, angle, side doesn't matter that they're, you may notice the reflections of each other, that doesn't matter. Okay? It's that the shapes are the same, that's all we're interested in. Okay? So if I uh, flip this one around, flip it left, right, and then I move it over, whoops, lost some things, but that's okay. Same triangle, okay, and that's all I care about. Okay, so side angle side, side side side. Lastly, uh, from task five, you have to look at a couple triangles just using two angles in the side. And so we'd say if two pairs of corresponding angles in the contained side of two triangles are congruent, lots of words in there, two triangles have to be congruent by angle, side, angle, ASA. And here's our picture. I have an angle, this side, and then the other angle. This is a contained side. It's in between the two angles. I have a second triangle where the angles match up and are the same, and the side matches up and is the same. These two triangles are identical by ASA. And here, this one, you notice the orientation has changed, so it looks the most different. Um, if I rotate this guy around, oh, it's not like that. How was it? Oh, yeah, it was just up and down. Here we go. I got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. You were panicked there for a second, but everything's fine. You can see that they match up. Okay, so we have three rules, or three laws. And the short form is side, 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 angle, side, and angle, side, angle. You might ask, well, I, Mr. Griffin, I'm pretty sure there was a fourth one. Angle, angle, side. And you'd be kind of right. Um, but what I'm going to show at the very end is that um, angle, angle, side really is the same thing as angle, side, angle. And maybe you can take a moment already and pause this and think about 
why that might be. But you'll have another opportunity at the end of the video. Okay, so this was the, all we really wanted. I shouldn't say all because there's a lot there. But we really were hoping that you were able to see that these three things are true. That if you have all three sides the same, two sides and the angle in between them, two angles in the side between them, any one of these three things, we know that two triangles have to be congruent. Okay? So moving forward in class, we're going to look at how, what kind of problems can we solve and what kind of tasks can we look at uh, using these three things. Okay? I, was, I, I never doubted you. You know, other people doubted you. I wasn't one of them. I spoke up for you and said, uh, okay, never mind, I'll move on. Okay. So um, all I'm going to do for the next uh, section of the video is, is go through the specific examples of side, 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 angle, side, and angle, side, angle. Okay, so just looking at the constructions. So if you weren't able to construct them in class, this is going to be more useful. Um, if you were able to do it, it's kind of just reiterating what you were able to see. But there's going to be some gems in there as well, so you might want to just watch anyway. So for the side, side, side construction, um, you needed a ruler for sure. So here's my ruler, voila. And for this triangle that I'm going to try and duplicate with the same sides, uh, first I needed a segment of five centimeters long, or five units long. So there it is. And then I needed one that was uh, 7.3 long. So if I measured out 7.3, something like that, Okay, and then I, I brought my ruler here, okay, and then I went to draw it, and I say, ooh, where am I supposed to draw this thing? And hopefully you can see clearly, as this moves, that third side is going to change. It's going to get longer and shorter depending where I draw this. Okay, and so the tool that would make this simpler, and which would be from a uh, reminder of grade 7, good times grade 7, um, is a compass. Okay. So because the compass will give us that arc that we know somewhere along this arc is a line that's 7.3 units long. So here's a compass, 7.3. If I take my compass, I could draw a full circle, but I'm just going to, I know somewhere up here, somewhere along this arc I should have, I will always have a line that's 7.3 uh, units, but somewhere along here is where I want this specific line to be. And then I can go to the other side and do the same. Somewhere along this arc, I will have my other 7.3. All right, get out of there, compass. Can't make you disappear. Um, and so what we knew, or what we would have seen in grade 7 is where they intersect is where I'm going to draw my two line segments. And so here I have it. Uh, one 7.3 and another 7.3. Outstanding. Okay, try and be a little more accurate there, right? Okay, there it is. And I'm just going to label this triangle uh, D, E, F, you know, keeping with the Sesame Street thing. Um, and if I look at these two triangles, this is the only triangle I can draw with these given measurements. There's no other way I could draw it. And if I compare it to this one, pretty darn close. We'll count that as the same. They are the same. All right. So five units, 7.3, 7.3. There is only one triangle you can draw. And so any triangle you draw with these measurements is always going to be the same as, as any others. Okay. So these triangles are the same. And I can say that's always the case by SSS. Okay. How we're going to write this out uh, formally is to say, OK, well, side AB is congruent to side DE. And this is my symbol for congruent. An equal sign with a little squiggle on top. Okay. Likewise, side BC was congruent to side EF. And then finally, I had side AC was congruent to side DF. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I didn't need to apologize? Thank you. You're so generous. Uh, here I have three pairs of congruent sides. And so because of that, I can now say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by side, side, side. So I've proven that these two triangles are the same using my understanding that I know that side, side, side is going to make show that two triangles are identical. Any questions? No, I guess. Okay. Moving on then. 
Uh, a little bit easier was uh, the task three, as I mentioned before. Here you didn't need a compass, you just needed a protractor. Uh, I actually need a ruler because I got a protractor built in here, so yay me. So if I start by trying to redraw a triangle with these measurements, I got my 5.5 to start, and then I'm gonna need um, 6.9. You know what, I don't need to make this short, okay. 6.9, but I'm gonna turn 105 degrees. You can see, oh, aren't I lucky. 105, can I get it exact? Oh, 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 you're gonna do this to me, are you? You, all right, there we go. Okay, so there's 105 degrees, and if I draw a line segment along that 105 degrees, that is 6.9. Okay, this angle was 105. So, and this is 6.9. Okay, those three elements, there's only one way for me to finish this triangle. I can, there's only, I, I can only close it up. So I don't know any of the other angles necessarily. I don't know the third side length. But even without knowing these things, I know that these triangles are the same. That one turned out pretty well, I must say, except that the vertices didn't move with it. Okay, so these triangles are congruent by side angle side. There's no other way to draw a different triangle with these measurements. Okay, and again, if I'm kind of using that notation, not kind of, if I am using the notation, I would say that MO is congruent to, well, I haven't labeled any points here. Let's say P, Q, and R. So then I could say that MO is the same as PR. Then I'm looking at angle O is congruent to angle R. And then lastly, NO is congruent to QR. So triangle MNO is congruent to triangle PQR by SAS. Lovely. All right. Lastly, you still awake? Wake up! Okay, just checking. Sorry about that. Um, if we did angle side angle, um, can you bring up the ruler again? Try and go through this. Uh, so 6.7 is already measured out. If I need to turn 56 degrees, I could use a protractor here. 56. There's 56. And I have a line along there somewhere. I don't know where. And on the other side, it's going to go 53. Oh, I might not be able to do that because, oh, okay. So what would 53 be? Um, 127? How do I know? Great question. If I need one side to be 153, what's the other side got to be? Okay, 180 minus do that 180 minus 53 it's gonna give me 127 I believe okay so that's making this one 53 in here the outside one is 127 hopefully my math checks out on that one I think I'm okay and so the only way I could close it up is like that and I could go back and shorten you up a wee bit boom and let's see if this worked out that sound effect, it wasn't me, it's built in. Oh, that was not so close, but pretty close. Darn it, I wish it was a little closer, but they, they would have to be the same as well. Okay, so here we go. X, Y, Z. Angle R is congruent to angle Z. Side RQ is congruent to side ZY, and angle Q is congruent to angle Y. So the two triangles are congruent. Oh, R. Dang it. So triangle PQR is congruent to triangle XYZ by angle side angle. And I'm going to stop there because I've run out of time. Uh, but ASA, take a moment. Why don't you think about it, and we can talk about it in class. Why would ASA be the same as this one? So that would be angle, angle side. Hmm, great question. Thank you. All right, so I'll see you in class, and uh, thanks for getting through this.